Uh, first impressions were good. Um, it feels like a like an actually good group of people that everybody kind of meshes well together. Um, everybody wants the same thing. Everybody's going to be working to the same thing. Um, I don't really like calling company stuff family like, but um, as as a group, seems like it's a functional group together. Yeah, I wouldn't say as soon as you walk in the door, but as soon as I kind of looked at everybody, introduced myself with everybody, and everybody kind of spoke. Yeah, it's uh, everybody wants the same thing. We're all here for the same reason. Um, we might be, you know, different personality-wise and, and that stuff, but we're all here for the same thing. So synergy should be no problem. Um, so where I was before, um, I definitely had the support from, you know, the people that I was with in the office. Um, so, the only difference is the level, um, the intensity, I guess would be the, the best word for that. Um, here com compared to there, it's the support is there. Everybody wants the same thing, but the push for the support, the intensity of the support and kind of that drive behind it is totally different, uh, different level. I was offered to be the OG and uh, I did turn it down. Um, I had a couple reasons for the turn down, but they, uh, not that long after I turned it down, um, I did regret the turn down. Um, I, you know, felt like an idiot here and there. Um, I would obviously be in a better place right now if I had of just kind of trusted it and went with it and, and, you know, followed what, what Joe has done. Um, but instead I, I didn't and I, I don't know, it's, it, I guess there can be good and bad with it. Um, I've changed a few other things outside that might make this change easier, um, but definitely probably should have just done it the first time. Yeah, no, I, I didn't see then, I had other things kind of that I was thinking about with the transition that shouldn't have been the points of emphasis. And now where I am, it should have been an easy decision then, and it's, it's an, been an easy decision this time. Um, I've kind of focused on this, the stuff that I should be focusing on when you're making this change, not the trivial stuff that shouldn't be uh, truly factors in, in a bigger decision. My reasoning for why I will, you know, whether I want to stay or whether I'm hesitant on a decision isn't on long term what I want. It's, it's just, like I said, it's trivial. It's, it was short term, short sighted things that shouldn't have been issues. So I would have just push through those and, you know, told myself on what I should be paying attention on. And then obviously being here now, seeing, like I said, the drive, the intensity of, of the meetings and the people here, um, that would have pushed me um, to be here, obviously eight months earlier and definitely would have done better with my investments if I knew about COVID as well. <laughs> the purpose of Right Choice is, is actually branding. It's content, it's growing yourself and um, you're not, you know, hiding behind a, a company shield, a balloon to try and attempt that. Um, and you've got the push to create that content and, um, you know, the direction that you need to go. So, you know, if no matter what company you're at, no matter where you are, even if you don't have your license yet, you should be wanting to be in, you know, 2020 and creating content and, you know, el eliminating the the old things that people did that don't really work anymore and moving into the stuff that gets gets you business now and, you know, grows your business now. And uh, it, honestly, it's also better for your, your buyers and your sellers, um, especially your sellers with your listings. So uh, if you truly want to <laughs> do better work, this would, you know, help you with that, with your, your audience that you can gain with the content creation. Yeah, it's very difficult. Um, I'm not even a big like video person. I've done some here and there. Uh, my problem was just, you know, trusting it, staying consistent with it, um, but also finding what my brand should be. And, and my understanding of what a brand is, is not actually what a brand is. So just in the short time that I've been here, that understanding has uh, grown. Um, and it's 
now you know, I just, I need to be me and do the things that I love to do and, you know, bring people in who, who also share those passions or those interests or whatever it may be. Um, and then, you know, work together, like do business together um, instead of, you know, trying to be your, your prototypical agent that does everything the same way. And it, you know, they're not any different. Um, this is, you know, build a brand, be different, be yourself. Um, and like, let's go, let's do some business. That's what I didn't grasp before when I thought I was branding, when I wasn't even close to branding. Um, I, I didn't understand what branding was. Um, but I've had a lot better idea now and I can, you know, grow that brand, be that brand, I guess. No, I think branding isn't really anywhere other than the people who have branded and made it to the top. Um, you see people, you know, how that, how this person do this, how this person do this, and nobody really pays attention to what they did before they got there, before they blew up. Um, and that's what your branding is. What they've built for themselves isn't what you see now. It's what they've been doing for the last 10, 15, 20, you know, 30 years that's built that. And yeah, like I don't see any other companies um, or industries really pushing the branding aspect and uh, marketing is probably the biggest thing right now. Um, and, you know, for people going to school, for people learning, it's, it's huge and they get a better understanding of it earlier. And then they, you know, do better business because they understand that brand. Um, but it's not something that you're taught or you got to find someone that can do it and then kind of learn off of them and work with them, which would be like, you know, Joe, for me anyways. Even um, before I made the decision to come here, branding was something that I was learning about, I was trying to figure out. Um, you know, when I started talking to Joe and people here, I learned more about branding because I still, like I said, I, I didn't really have a grasp on it, but building that brand is, is probably that thing that I want to do. Um, you know, be me, bring people uh, along for it and have some fun while we're doing it instead of just, you know, suit, tie, go to work. Let's have some fun while we're doing some business with some good people. Um, and then, yeah, with the team, you got competition. Like <laughs> Jill wants to have a little bowl off, but I'll have competition with that all day because I don't think she's going to come close. Um, but as far as, you know, the synergy of the team, it's going to be fun working with a bunch of people as well. Um, and then there's always drive in any little hierarchy uh, competition at work. So that'll be fun. For me, I, I love houses and, and changing houses. Um, before I was in real estate, I did subcontract work. I like working on houses. So I, I just, I don't know, I'm, I'm into seeing what people do with houses, seeing houses move. Um, that's, I've, I don't know, I've always had that. I love, you know, not so much flipping houses, but flipping to yourself, renting houses. I love the concept of it. Um, so that stuff's always kind of intrigued me. That's why I came to real estate to build, uh, build a career around housing development and that sort of thing. So that's kind of why I'm here.